am the creative lady and the this is my delicious tv i hope everybody out there is doing well special shout out to sandra w thank you for your email it meant so much to me and i'm gonna keep on going so thank you for your love and support it's saturday i slept in because this past week has been really really busy we had um a lot going on. I had a video to get out for uh, a STEM competition that we're having and so my school went to Chattanooga but I had to create the video because they know I'm the video lady, right? So I did a video for them, like a commercial type thing. It was a lot going into it and my principal sometimes he seems to have no idea what it takes to make magic but he has all the confidence in the world that I can make it happen. But he don't know about the magic that goes in between. Then I had to do um, a slide show for the National Junior Honor Society inductees, which seems like nothing, but it's 50 kids and photos of each kid, retakes of each kid, dropping it into my template that I created. But when you take a picture in portrait mode and you put it in PowerPoint, you gotta rotate each picture, right? I spent my whole week working on that uh, video. I am working on the slideshow and then the auditor popped up again. So we've been audited at the beginning of the year. The first day back to work, the auditor was there. I'm like, can I put my purse down <laughs> before you start asking me where the equipment? And then here they come again this week. So this is the end of March. I didn't even think I was going to be audited or included in the audit for equipment. Huh? Uh, the, the lady asked for 10 items. One of the items is a band instrument that I didn't know what it was, a euphonium or something. I'm like, what the heck is that? I had to, somebody had to Google it to tell me what it looked like. Band director wasn't present that day, so I had to go and dig around. We are looking around, trying to figure out what the heck, what is this thing? So we finally called him. He was like, oh, it's in the shop. Wasn't in the shop, it's locked up in this closet. So we go in there, me and the assistant principal and the sub, who's also from an HBCU. So we, we rooting around in this man's bedroom behind cages and places looking for stuff. And finally we see the case. So I take my, my iPhone, I zoom in and I look at the asset tag number and it does match. But I'm like, look, this lady is very, very thorough and she is not going to just accept seeing a case that is locked up behind this, you know, lock thing, case, cage or whatever. What is it? whatever but um so we're in there trying to shimmy the thing trying to shimmy jimmy i'm about to get the um my plant manager to come and cut the lock off the thing somehow my assistant principal and the sub from grambling go and they're able to pry the thing open and we open the case and the euphonium is in there okay so i'm like are you the lord so we get that thing in and then um so i'm happy about that so so y'all, I spent about an hour looking for a computer that was purchased in March of 2018 and I couldn't find it. I'm running around, looking, looking on the inventory, looking around the building. I'm like, who's got a computer sitting on their desk and didn't tell me they bought a new computer? So I had the financial secretary pull the records on it, y'all. It was my computer. I'm sitting there on the freaking computer looking for the computer. So it's my computer. So that's how stressful an audit really is. So... And then I had nine other pieces of equipment to find. I mean, it, they would just pick 10 random items. They're just like, okay, go find this, go find that. And so what really, really works for me in keeping up with over a million dollars worth of inventory, that is not my job. I don't get compensated one penny for keeping up with this. In addition to trying to be the librarian, I say trying to be the librarian, the uh, social media person, photographer, you know, videographer, uh, on-site tech person, you know, the first line of defense when somebody, if something don't work, it's me, it's me, it's me. But it's like, I can never have sometimes a complete thought. You know, folks calling on the phone, trying to sell something. I'm like, look, I ain't got no more budget money. I said, I ain't got, I don't have any more budget money. I'm done for the year, call back next year. Hopefully, I'm thinking it might not even be me, but you know, I show back up and then it's me again. But it's always something trying to shelve books, y'all. Um, you know, kids want to check out books, which I love, but it's like I'm so diluted that it's like, ugh. So, anywho, long story short, retail therapy is my friend. 
So that's why I shop. I am a natural hair product junkie and I've been doing well. However, advertising does work. So I was laying in the bed watching Good Times or The Cheetahs. I don't know. One of them shows that I watch on Saturday morning. And I saw a Gagne Foutif commercial on. So I was like, what? I saw the man commercial with some Gagne Foutif. I'm like, what? It was called Grow Strong. So of course I jumped up, got myself together, you know, threw on a little something, something to get decent to get into the store. And I found it, y'all. I bought the male version. It's a uh, Grow Strong Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. Now I know these two in one products are not always recommended, but you know, I'm a renegade, so whatever. And there was a coupon in Walgreens that you buy one, buy something, you get a dollar off. So I, I'm like, okay, it's $2.99 for this size. And this is a 12.5 ounce. So when he got the coupon book that's in Walgreens, like up by the counter somewhere, I'm not a couponer, so didn't have my phone to go online. So I was like, because I just jumped up and went right. So I found this. It was $2.99 with a dollar off. So I got the coupon book. My favorite lady, Miss Betty, was at the register. And she's the one who used to lick the bag. I don't think she does that anymore. Thank you. But anyway, so I got this and a bunch, a few more, a, a bunch more. And then I got, uh, this is a Grow Strong a Deep Clean Cooling Fortifying Shampoo. So I got the Grow Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. And then, I, then I got the Grow Strong Shampoo. It's the cooling. I think it's some menthol or something in here. So I figured, okay, I can just, you know, let this sit on my hair for a minute and then rinse it off. So I was able to get the Garnier Fructine Active Fruit Protein. I think it's got apples in it because I've done apple on here. But it's the Grow Strong Fortifying Conditioner. And I bought a bunch more because I probably got like five. Because, you know, we at Natural, we use a lot of conditioner. Then I got one of the um, fortifying shampoo. Since I got the cooling menthol one, you know. So I just got one shampoo and about five of these conditioners. Along with one fortifying shampoo. And one of these, you know, two in one. So I like the way it smells. It has a... Um, nice fresh clean green apple with the apple smell which i love the way apple smell so i guess that is the protein like an apple protein i don't know but i'm gonna do my hair with it this week um if i can if i can i will film a video because you know i'll be honest with y'all it's a lot going on and it does take a lot to film a hair video so you just really want to get in there and get it done but, you know, I'll do my best, even if it's a, hey, come back and talk about how it worked if I don't do an actual, you know, on-screen video, okay? And Garnier Fructis has nice products. I remember buying a product at the store and then it, something happened to it in the shower. And I think I talked about it on social media. It might have been a video. Without my knowing, they just, I don't know how they found that video, but they sent me, reached out and sent me a box. Of products and I was really excited about that. It was some good stuff. So if I can remember that video, I'll link it up here because it's a good product line. So I really, really, really love Gagne Fructis. It's reasonably priced and it's available in the store. You can just jump out of bed and go get you some, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to try on my hair this weekend. And I'm really going to try to limit myself to just this line of Grow Strong products just to see if it works, okay? So when I got home yesterday from work, you know, with all of the tiredness that I, that I was, I tried to do, a, I did a live video and I was just so discombobulated. It was like, ugh, but uh, if it's, I'll, I'll link it up here. But basically I'm just sharing with you all this electric wine opener. I got this from Amazon. I needed a new one because years ago I loaned my cousin when they came to town, my wine opener. And for the, uh, they were here for the Southern Heritage Classic football game, Jackson State versus Tennessee State. Uh, and when I got my wine opener back, it was jacked up like this. It would not, um, you know, look, it looked like a lady. And she doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Her arms are like, won't go down all the way anymore. And so basically, <laughs> my little cousin jacked up my, um, wine opener so i'm always trying to make it work i mean it still works you know what i'm saying but i always have to do something with it i think it was too fancy for him okay so i got that 
uh, I had to get a new wine opener. So I figured, okay, here's one right here, and it's an electric wine opener. I got this one day last week, and I hadn't had time to use it. I'm like, okay, I can't wait to um, use my wine opener. And this is what it's looking like on the inside. It's got like the actual opener and some other attachments on here that I have no idea what they are and what they're for. I don't know. Um, came in a nice box. But anywho, y'all, so this is the actual wine opener. I think it needs the battery, so I don't have a battery for it just yet. So got the wine opener. I, I'll come back. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm about to tear this thing up. I think you put it down over it. And it's got some little attachments. I don't know if this is something you're supposed to cut the... You know you have the cigar cutter where you nip it or whatever? I'm thinking it's something to do with that. I don't know. Don't know what this little gadget is. I don't know. Maybe it help you pour it out. I don't know. And then, I'm assuming... Y'all, I don't know what this is. It, it, it's a stopper. Maybe a wine stopper. Oh, I might need that because if you open a bottle of wine and you don't finish it, then... Okay, so this comes in handy because yesterday I told you I helped them with the um, National Junior Honor Society induction and uh, someone gave me a gift off campus and it's a bottle of my favorite wine, a San Antonio Winery Cardinal American Sweet Wine. I think I've shared this on this channel with y'all before, but it is a sweet red wine if you like sweet wine. This one right here is good, but you must be 21 to drink it, okay? So I ain't advocating no minors go out there and indulge. And the alcohol content is 11.5%. So I think it'll get you there if you want to drink it, okay? This is really very reasonably priced because I have bought it um, myself. And so it does have a cork. So I will be able to test it out, you know, when it's time to get into this wine. So... I'm going to try this. Um, follow me on Instagram if I do like a little short Insta story at Nappylicious or if I come back and do a full video. But, you know, so this is almost turning into a favorite things video for the month of March, okay? Of course, the Ivy Box is always one of my favorite things because, you know, I love the Ivy Box, y'all. But another favorite thing, and I know, I know, I know, I know these things can maybe be bad for you. I don't know, but... Again, I'm a renegade, but if you like me, I like Red Bull. This one is the Peach Edition. It is the absolute best. It's the Peach Nectarine. This one right here, if you are someone who drinks Red Bull, regardless of what people say about it or whatever, the whatever, the dangers or whatever, if I don't know. But I like this one. It tastes absolutely delicious. It's the best flavor that I've had. And I've tried a lot of their flavors, but the Peach Edition, the Peach Nectarine, Everybody that has tried it is like, oh yes, you're right about that. And something else that I tried that I don't have with me, if you go to Kentucky Fried Chicken and you get the, um, what is it, Georgia Gold Tender. Ooh, y'all, it's like a honey mustard something. I don't know what they're putting on that stuff, but it is so good if you get it right. And I watched them make it the other day when I went to get some for lunch. It looks like the plain tender, but they doused some type of magic sauce on it. And it is like so good. It's almost like a pickly, tangy, something, something, absolutely delicious. Okay. If you're someone who makes content for whether it's Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or whatever, and you're making a lot of content, sometimes I find that I have to break away, you know, ease my mind and just, you know, come back new and fresh. And uh, so that's what I'm kind of still doing. So I'm not really, really back yet. I'm still um, trying to just get a handle on things, right? And it's about to become my busy time of the year close out for the end of the school year. So, you know, I'll be doing inventory for books and inventory for equipment. And just as people wind down, I wind up, you know, trying to get everything done. And my teachers, they're going to be ready to start turning this stuff in and all of that and I'm just like could y'all just wait a minute you know but they don't understand sometimes what my function is I think we're going to have a change in the guard at my administration at my job so I don't know how that's going to go who's going to come in who's going to stay and all of that so it's always a lot you know when changes uh happen in your admin but you know 
I'm there to do a job and whoever comes in, if they let me do my job, we'll get along just fine. It feels really good to sleep in because last week I went home um, to my aunt's birthday party and spent time with my family. I was debating, oh, I don't want to go because I got to work on this project for work. And I was like, wait a minute, girl, do you hear yourself? Go take time to spend with your family. And I worked in the car on the way. You know, I was a passenger, so I was trying to get some work done. And um, it's just hard to get work done. That kind of work, editing in a car that's moving. I don't know. It's kind of, I'm kind of weird like that. I like to be stationary so that I can really focus and be comfortable and not be, you know, worried about traffic, even though I'm a passenger. So it felt really good to just go home and spend time with my family. Shot a little basketball, so um, I had a good time hanging out with my little cousin. We call her Boots. I started calling her Boots back at um, Thanksgiving or Christmas because she had on some little bitty boots, y'all. She is about that big. And she had some boots on. I'm like, Lord, these boots bigger than she is. So I started calling her Boots, y'all. And that's what she's answering to. I love it. And I had a great time hanging out with her and my little cousin Cece and, and Kai. Of course, they were like, hey, help us with that YouTube channel. So y'all, I got to get back to this summer and really, really, really get them started with their YouTube channels. Um, hung out my cousin, the twins, TJ and Taylor. TJ hurt my feelings, y'all. He, he had like this skateboard. When I was a kid, I had a skate job. My parents know. bought me just about anything that I wanted except a chemistry set. My mama thought I was gonna blow the roof off the house. But I'm like, mom, I could have been like a renowned chemist, okay? <laughs> but anyway, so um, I saw that skateboard and I was like, wow, I wanna get on the skateboard. He was like, uh-uh, you too big. I'm like, what? I had to gather myself, y'all, but he done told me I was fat, pretty much. But he weighed more than me. Anyway, y'all, uh, but yeah, it was good to hang out with my family. So I'll share that little clip with you all with me and Boots up here. All right? Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Get a boo!